Hello and welcome back to the New Dig Norfolk Gardener. Now, about two, three videos ago, I introduced you to this space and said that I was going to do a dig versus new dig experiment. It's not really an experiment. What I really want to do is just show you what happens if you dug your soil and what happens if you haven't. And like us, just spread compost just on the surface and to grow your plants. Now with the new dig bed I have done everything that I've been saying on video for the last few months i.e. these plants went in as small plug plants not very big at all um, and they're growing away nicely now whereas on the dig bed I left those another two weeks or so in the greenhouse, they got much bigger and were obviously planted out just that little bit later. So if you want to see what we did there, go back to our video on planting our cabbages and our calabries and you'll see exactly what size those these plants were in the new dig bed were when they went in compared to I think it was the April tour video when we put these ones in in the dug bed which were an awful lot larger. Both sets of seeds were sown late February. The only difference is, is that these are in the new dig bed and went in as very small plants. These went in some two weeks later as much larger plants. So if we put the camera down now, let's just show you exactly what the beds look like. These have been in the ground, as I say, at the times I said, they've been happily growing away. I've done nothing to them, except yesterday I actually gave them a little bit of water because on the dug side of the garden, these plants were looking extremely anemic. And it's probably important that I tell you that we actually, our soil is heavy clay and what you see, what our soil would normally look like. So just visually looking at the two beds together, for me, I can see that these plants look much better. They've gotten away quicker. They haven't got leggy stems. They were buried nice and deep. They look healthier. They don't look quite as good to me. I think, I think I, I once watched a video with Charles Dowding and he said the soil takes so long to recover when you actually dig beds. And I think you can see that here. Remember, there is just two weeks between these transplants. That's all. No more, only because I wanted to let these ones in the dig bed get larger than the ones that I put in the new dig bed. The other thing that strikes me as soon as I see the beds is, if you look at the new dig bed, it looks relatively clean of weeds. I haven't been in either of these beds since they were planted to do any weeding. And remember, the new dig bed is, these plants have been in two weeks more. When we look at the dug bed, these weeds are now starting to get to a point where they're going to be taking this bed over. So let's start here with the new dig bed. And as I've said many times, new dig doesn't mean that you're not gonna get weeds, you just get fewer. So I can see one here. My bucket is behind me actually, so just let me get that. It's a piece of grass growing through here, and I've said many a times that at April, May, this time of year, grasses start to grow. It's always worth checking around your plants, just give them a move, because these leaves will cover or give cover to weeds. 
but there really isn't many at all. Yeah, there's a good example. Look, that leaf was laying over there and you can hardly see that weed that's trying to grow there. So just by moving the weed, pulling it up and it comes out so easily in new dig soil. There's another trying to come through here. Couple here. Now if I lift this large leaf up here, there's another tiny bit of grass trying to grow through there. So again, take that out. The seedling there that I can take out, there you go, into the bucket, there's another one here, a piece of grass here, as I say always look under the leaves because that does give them shelter, And actually I can see one that's getting quite large just under that leaf there. So you see how that leaf is hiding that? Unless you move the leaves and have a look. But see how easily they come out in new dig soil. So I don't know how long we've been filming that, but that's the extent of the weeds that I needed to pull in the new dig strip. So now let's look at the dug bed and like most people you probably look at this with horror and think oh my lord there is a lot of weeding to do here. I need to try and get as much of that root out as possible for that weed and this And you can see how the clay soil is. So trying to hoe that is difficult now and it will be even more difficult once we get to June and July and the ground really is baked hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weed this bed now and we shall come back to you once we've done this because I think you don't really want to see me be weeding for the next 10-15 minutes or so while I clear this bed. Here we are some 10 minutes or so later. Mrs W gave me a bit of a hand to help weed this bed too. And there are other weeds that came from there. Now it is really important to keep on top of the weeds because Clearly they rob food from the ground, water from the ground, which your precious vegetables actually need to bring them to a good harvest. Remember that's just a three foot strip that those plants are growing in. And these beds are 14 feet by 12 feet. You imagine if the whole of this bed was like we saw this little three foot strip. And then you multiply that by five, for the five vegetable beds that we have and you can see where you lose time and you can't do things like put a new pergola up as we've done your pea structure you start to fall behind on sowing because the very first job you need to do is get on top of these weeds and tackle them so for us discovering new dig gardening has been an absolute revelation and we discovered it through watching as I say Charles Dowding's videos and we've used the same principle and it's worked so well for us so well like I say take another look at that soil there that's what I, that's what we have to work with and this is the 2nd of May in another month's time that will be absolutely baked hard you won't be able to get any water into it. You won't be able to get a, a hoe into it. And every time you weed, you just leave all the roots behind because all you'll do is snap off the tops. Whereas with the new dig, we don't see that at all. So regardless whether you are new dig or dig,
that's entirely up to you. I just want to show you how this has affected our garden and how it's given us so much time to be getting on with the things that we really want to be getting on and not spending all of our time out in the garden weeding. And whether you're a new dig or you're not, and I know that there are people who watch the channel that are not new dig, hopefully you get value out of this channel because the way that we sow our seeds, the way that we transplant things, the methods we use, especially if you're new to gardening, they are just as appropriate regardless which method you use, dug or no dig. Our plants look better. You know, these cabbages are now actually starting to turn in. And remember, I said at the start of the video, there was just two weeks between the transplants. The seeds were sown at the same time. It's just that these went in two weeks earlier as very small plug plants. And I urge you to go back to our sowing our cabbage and calabrese video. And you can see just how tiny they were Whereas when these went in, they were about so tall. But they haven't yet caught these up. And in my opinion, at least, the plants don't look as good. I'm sure we'll get a harvest and we shall come back here in June when that time comes. I'm pretty confident that these will be ready for harvest come June. Not so sure about those, it might be late June and going into July, but we'll see. It's not for me to preempt. This is simply just these videos that I'm putting together for this dig versus new diggers just to show you what's happening in our ground. Now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it informative. And we shall see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.